When they came back, um, they had prepared me some cassette tapes. And lying in my bed one night, I was looking at them. And while looking at them and hearing the expectation coming from the other students and hearing the things going on in the classroom, and I said, um, it is good that I have the tapes, but I need to sit in the classroom. Well, the goal of CMA is to take theological training to all the countries of the Caribbean that God will let us go into. He'll every door he opens, we will go through. religious culture, first of all, and there are a lot of churches, but most of those churches don't have pastors who have been trained in the Word. They have a high school education, and very, very few of them have any biblical training. They become pastors because their father was a pastor, or someone else in their family was a pastor, and so they inherit a church or a ministry, and they've never been taught how to properly handle the Word. So they end up bringing these messages to people on Sunday mornings that are full of tradition, things that they've heard from other people on the island, things that they've heard on TV, things that just aren't true from scripture. And so our goal and mission in coming in with the Bible Training Center is to train and equip these men uh, and women how to properly study scripture for themselves, interpret it, and then effectively communicate that to the people. What, is, what does this say in the Bible and what does it say in the Bible? I needed to know what was the interpretation, what was the meaning so that I can tell them so that they can be more equipped. And when then after being called by God to preach, I wanted to be able to preach the exact word of God, not something that I think is the right thing, but what is the exact thing about what God's word says. First class was some um, Bible study methods, and and uh, we we went through different methods and how to study the Word of God and how to dig deep, and um, that really challenged me because what I, what that's done is affecting my personal life. That's in the home where I work. I'm challenged more with God's Word. I understand God's Word controlled Word better. And empowered, controlled, and empowered. Spirit wants to control you. He wants to empower you. <clears throat> well, CMA provides what is very close to an associate's degree in training. Um, it has, we, we provide a basic theological education with our courses as well as some skills refinement approaches um, as well as practical ministry emphases. Well, I believe that biblical education is important within the churches because if you're ever going to look at impacting a culture or if you're ever going to look at impacting um, a large span of people, um, it, that's, a, that's a large piece to bite off on your own. But if you, um, if you can look at training the leaders within a culture so that that's more manageable, that, that's, that's more attainable for us to work at is training the leaders so that they then can be more helpful to the congregations uh, in, in turn who can be more helpful to the communities. You see, God calls us as his people to cooperate with him. And He's it's excellent curriculum. Uh, you know, it really solidifies the basics as far as Bible study methods, doctrines, survey courses, how to run the ministry of the church, how to, how to deal with administrative issues, missions, evangelism, discipleship. So they get a wide variety 
of topics that they cover and are trained in. Virtually all of our pastors are bivocational, so we teach in the evenings. We uh, begin with how to study the Bible. It's the foundation for everything that happens thereafter. We're able to go about our daily work, and then we was able to go after work to the classes and still learn as much as we can. So that was very beneficial to us. So it, it helped us from having to go abroad, and I think it was even cheaper because we were studying at home. I'm basically doing evangelism up and down different churches, invite me to preach mostly to the youth Sundays because I have a passion for the youth, knowing that most of the kids on the island right now is going astray and the parents, most parents aren't checking for the children. So, I, you know, God put a burden on my heart to deal with the youths. Even so, right now, it's in JC. I'm the coach of the Little League baseball team. And right now, we, last night was our first night of Bible study. So, I'm trying to pour out what God put into me, into them, to get them on the right track. <laughs> others around in the community um, you know look look to you as, as a Christian and um, as a leader in a church and being equipped in, in God's Word it makes you more effective as a Christian so others in the community could, could see through through your testimony did I respect the expectations of the audience now that's a funny thing to say Maybe you, you might understand what I mean. You, might not. you know, uh, one thing I like about it too is, is, is being involved in it with other people from my church, from my community, and you know, the fellowship. Plus, it's great just to go through and, and what you learn in, in every different area, um, inductive, the Old Testament survey, New Testament. I mean, it makes those books become so much more to you and, and so much more understandable. You show them how the Bible will make them come alive. So you are creative when you're teaching. Right. It's changed my whole outlook when I read the Bible. To understand it better and to mark it better, to teach my Sunday school kids and my little people search kids better. Right? So I took this to my kids to use it as an illustration. It was a lamp unto my feet <laughs> and a light unto my path. <laughs> I used that as a light. <laughs> Because of the deficit in the families and the broken homes, one of the goals of the training is to teach the church leaders how to effectively communicate to the congregation and to the people in their church and in their communities what God's plan for the family is, what it means to have a father, a leader in the home, the man who is the head of the household, and a mother who teaches the children. A big part of our role here, of CMA's role here, is to train the women in the churches, not only the men. Um, the men in the churches play a very important role, but as well as the men, the women do. By how I live, to try to apply to my life, apply to my life, to be obedient to God's word, and to apply it and to live that others could see Jesus in me. That's my desire, and my prayer is that I will do that, to share more with others and to encourage others to come to the classes if they do it again, it's wonderful. I'd encourage anybody. <laughs> On the way up to my thoughts was, what is it that they can teach me about the Bible that I don't already know? And there were so many questions running through my mind. But when I got there and sat in my first classroom and then began to, to hear the lecture unfold the scriptures, and then I'm like, gee, I don't know anything. Um, you, I've never, never, never been in an environment where the fellowship is so genuine and so real. You know, you, you, you develop a, a friendship that's right out of this world, you know. Um, you, you get to, to thinking that, listen, man, the day ain't going fast enough. Because you're looking forward to that time when you would be back into a classroom 
and you'll be seeing these lectures again and not only that, the, the, the fellow students. It, just going through the classes here at the Bible Training Center it, it, and taking it from here and taking it to the little boys and then to the churches after going through those classes and knowing now how to evaluate the Word of God and to be able to interpret it and break it down into simpler form for kids to understand it. If I haven't been through this class, it would have been impossible because I know I, I didn't have the resources. It's not being teach in the churches. But after the class was over, he told his wife, this Bible study method has changed my life. I, I can't look at scripture the same. His wife said, told me that she sees him studying the Bible every morning with his inductive Bible study me method of using observation, interpretation, and application. Well, I was, I was able to learn that we must not interpret the Bible to our own satisfaction, but what the Bible says. See, because the Bible is truth, and we are not to add or take away from it. And we must try to be, we are to learn as much as we can, what the Bible, what it's saying to us, what it means to us, and how it relates to us, and how we must uh, present it. Now, since I graduated, uh, I'm more involved in the church I'm at, People's Church, and it's given me more confidence to, because I, I learned, you know, I learned. And um, through learning, it's given me confidence to, to, to speak in public and, you know, stand up in um, the, the position that God has put me in. after they've been equipped, after they've been trained. They've seen a difference in their teaching, in their knowledge of the Word, and in their interaction with the local church.